Welcome Capricorn to your reading. I'm Scorpio Moon. Intuition for your messages from spirit. This reading is general and it may or may not resonate with you. Take what resonates and leave the rest. And if you'd like to book a personal reading with me, you can do so at www.scorpiomoonintuition.com. This reading is for Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Cross Watcher, if you're the ones watching this, then it may resonate with you. So let's begin. If you're wearing headphones, please lower the volume. I welcome in my spirit guides and holy angels, nice and great as good. I welcome messages of love and light that bring hell and love to all. Please bless this reading. Thank you. All right, Kebby. So let's go ahead and get into your reading. So this is your monthly reading for April. And in this particular reading, we're going to go over what is the general overall energy of the person that you're connected to in love. Uh, but also we're going to uh, dive in and see what is the advice that you need to know in regards to your career. Okay. So we're going to do love and money for this month and guidance messages from spirit. So let's begin. Spirit, what clear messages want to come through in regards to Capricorn's love interest? What do we need to know about your love interest for the month of April? What do we need to know about Capricorn's love interest? Thank you, Spirit. Hmm, interesting. So we have here liquid courage, bravery, confidence, intoxicated, odd behavior. So your person could be drinking. Also, we have faded meeting, meant to be destiny, predetermined, and encounter. Also, we have uh, friends, acquaintance, trust, support, and loyalty. And finally, we have legal matters, uh, justice, divorce, balance, and judgment. It actually came up in reverse. Okay, so this is what I'm feeling, Capricorn. Okay, and on the bottom of the deck, we have the third party, interference, cheating, competition, and mistress. Okay, so... I would just say, Capricorn, when it comes to your love interest, um, there could be a fated meeting with, I want to say, your twin flame, a soulmate, whoever this person is, okay? There is a third-party situation that's going on with them. If they're uh, trying to go through some sort of legal situation, it's not working out to their benefit, okay? I feel like there's a delay and some sort of legal matters. And um, right now, um, I have a feeling like you could uh, meet them either through their friends or um, there's like a faded meeting, okay? Maybe you guys cross paths uh, with each other. And perhaps this person, if you have been in no contact or communication with them, they may ask you, hey, you know, let's let's just be friends. They could actually use a friend um, based off of what I'm seeing. Now, for some, your person uh, could be abusing you know, alcohol to kind of self-soothe whatever situation that they're going through. So to be honest, Capricorn, in the month of April, your person is going through some hard times dealing with a karmic party. And it's difficult because I have a feeling if they were trying to get out of a, a situation with the karmic, there is a delay. Okay, that is what I'm seeing. Now, I really also feel like it's not by any coincidence that you actually cross paths with this person or you get to hear from this individual. I feel like it's a divinely timed and guided. So just because this person comes back and they're bringing their baggage, really be the um, observer. Okay, and just kind of soak all of this information in. I really feel like either A, you're there to kind of help your person along the way with whatever situation that they're in. B, um, have you really learned from setting healthy boundaries? So this could be like a test. 
um, you know, we're in actually eclipse season. So um, it wouldn't be a surprise if this person were to come back to kind of test the waters with you. Okay, so let's see what else is going on with this person. Spirit, can you please reveal to me clear messages in regards to this person that uh, Capricorn is connected to in the month of April? How are they uh, thinking of you? How are they feeling? What is it that they want? And what is the outcome? What can you reveal to me about this person's energy? Thank you. All right, so they're thinking, okay, you guys didn't end things well, okay? So that could be like, you know, hey, how you been? It's been a long time. Uh, I, I'm sorry that I backstabbed or betrayed you. Um, it was a bitter ending, right? Um, they're going through recovery. Um, I feel also that this could be about employment or working on a situation that isn't really working out for them, okay? So... They're not doing very well at this time. I see that they're trying to move on from the third party, okay? Also try to get over whatever happened uh, between the two of you in the past. So they're in a place of acceptance, okay? Um, they are trying to work on themselves to better themselves. They're not perfect, Capricorn, but um, they're trying. I definitely do see that. So right now they are feeling that there is an opportunity for them to open up towards you. It's just going to take them a little bit of um, courage. And they're definitely thinking about opening up more towards you. They feel like there is an opportunity here between the two of you. So this is a thing, Capricorn. If there is this opportunity and you're second guessing yourself, well, guess what? So is your person. It's like, what are the chances of you guys meeting each other at this time? You know, it, it's like it's like one of those things. Something serendipitous is what I'm hearing. But your person is thinking that they're a failure or things didn't really work out between the two of you. But it's actually um, forcing them to be a little bit more courageous to have this opportunity to really fix things. Okay. That's what I'm seeing. At least that's how they're feeling. Now, what is it that they want? So they want to take their time. Okay. First and foremost, um, they're either going through a divorce or a separation from a karmic. Okay. For some of you, this is like a third party that they're dealing with right now. They're not happy in their home. They're having to deal with this karmic situation. Yeah. They're drinking a little bit. Um, and they're disappointed because they have those addictions. Okay. So again, this is not about you being judgmental of your person. Your person kind of knows that they're not um, perfect. Um, are they going to work on, you know, this drinking behavior? Maybe not. Um, it's because they're, they're going through something very difficult. So that doesn't mean like, you know, you know, you're open for them to do this, you know, it really depends, like, are they a functional alcoholic? It, you know, is it that bad? It could be for some. But they don't feel very good about their al alcoholism, okay? And they know that they need time. Um, you know, I just keep uh, sensing that this particular person is going through a rough patch, um, especially if they're going through a divorce or a breakup or a separation with um, the karmic. Now, in the outcome, they're learning to accept by letting go of the situation um, again, this is about a divorce or trying to free themselves from a karmic party. They know that they've been careless with you. They don't even know that, you know, coming forward towards you is actually a good thing, which I really feel like, yeah, um, they, they are correct in that sense because they need to really work on this third party situation. I would really feel 
that what spirit is trying to convey is that Capricorn, just be a lending ear, just be a friend, okay? We saw that energy. There's a faded meeting with your person. I would say it's it's safe to be just their friend, okay? But if you're looking for a relationship, this is not the time, okay? They need to get out of that uh, karmic energy because there's a legal situation that isn't over yet. They're still dealing with it, okay? You know, instead of like, you know, them uh, reverting to alcohol, I would just say you know, being a friend for them at this time is actually going to be better than what this is. That's what I'm seeing. So this is destined. They know that you are the divine feminine. So for my twins that is watching this, okay, they they have this feeling. It's like an inner knowing. Um, they know that they have to go through a separation um, with the karmic. It may take two months, okay? So I really feel like it's already been going on with your particular person, and they're hoping that it would be over by now, okay? Or maybe there's a delay, okay? Take it as it resonates, but I feel like your person is going through an ending, and they don't know what to think. They can't even think straight, and so... You might get like a cold, like a hot and cold energy coming from this particular person. That's why if you come across this individual, don't have any expectations like, oh, well, it's been a long time coming. I haven't heard from them. Maybe this is it, right? Especially if this is your twin. I would say put your expectations to the side and really be the observer. Okay. That's what I have for my cappies for this month. So... Let's go ahead and check out the work situation. <laughs> so Capricorn, I know you guys like to work and um, maybe you're looking for expansion. Maybe you're looking for some sort of change. But let's see. Spirit, what is, uh, what is the guidance that you have for Capricorns? Or what is it that they need to be aware of in the month of April when it comes to their career and finance? Okay, so, wow, we have a lot. We have persistence. Your efforts have not gone unnoticed. Success is around the corner. Follow through with what you had set out to do consistently until you reach your goal. Hard work is required to keep building on your finances. So persistency does pay off. Whatever that you're doing, keep doing it, okay? Especially you're feeling defeated, also, we have the rebel. You're a trailblazer meant to see things differently and set a new path for others. Your rebellious spirit makes you a great system buster to teach others a better way. An old belief about money could be preventing you to getting ahead. Okay, so really break free from any kind of old limiting uh, beliefs. Also, we have emotions. Your emotions are affecting your finances. You're paying too much attention to the love life and ignoring your career. Earn money doing something that you love or a dream job that might be offered to you. So don't let your emotions about this person um, really get in the way of your success, especially if you have been somewhat persistent on a goal. Keep working on that, okay? Um, you're the trailblazer. Don't let your emotions get to the best of you. And also, we have legal, man. You might have to take care of some legal matters related to financial issues. You could receive money from some kind of legal matter. This is a good time to handle any legal matters involving money. Well, we're in the month of April, and guess what? It's tax season, right? Well, it's the end of the tax season if you haven't done your taxes already, Cab. So go ahead and take care of those legal situations. Um, also, we have a planner. Pay attention to detail and create a plan to grow your business or personal finance, careers, and event planning. Project manager or professional organizer could be for you. This is a great time to take a financial inventory and see what needs changing. So I really hope that that was helpful in regards to your career in finances, Capricorn. I would say it's actually really great advice. All right. So let's go ahead and see what is the, the final message that Spirit wants Capricorns to know 
for the month of April. Spirit, please reveal to me a clear message in regards to the sign of Capricorn. What is the advice that you have for Cappies for the month of April? What is the advice that Capricorns need to know? Oh, wow. So we have your social media detox. No posting, no liking, just living. Don't let it take over your life. So try not to get too worked up on social media, Capricorn, okay? Especially if your emotions are getting to the best of you in regards to this particular person, okay? You may cross paths with them. Don't let it, let it make you go crazy because if you let that person do that much towards you, then your work situation goes out the door and you just can't focus, okay? Also, we have sleep and rest. Let your body have peace it deserves without feeling guilty. Now, Capricorn, you're a workaholic. Get some rest. You really need to um, pull out your planner, okay, and divvy out your time to to really stay on task and organized. Okay, there's plenty of planners, either, even on electronic, um, like planning programs that can help you with these things. Try not to overwork yourself, okay? You need sleep. <laughs> That's what I have. So I hope that that was helpful. Let me know. Thank you all for watching. And if you'd like to book a personal reading with me, you can do so at www.scorpiomoonintuition.com. You can also follow me on IG under Scorpio Moon Intuition. And now you can listen in on Spotify, Google Podcasts, iHeartRadio, and YouTube Podcasts. Thank you all for watching and listening, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.